Search every single home and kill anyone inside. Start with this house, she barked as she pointed to Kyle and Jackie's home. It was an obvious choice, seeing as though the rotting bodies rested in front of the three-story row home. Three men worked their way to the front door, and the others started walking towards neighboring houses. Kyle carefully watched as the three approached. One of them had his gun aimed at the bedroom window, but never noticed Kyle looking down at them. The cracks in the glass obstructed his view of the shadowy figure lingering in the corner of the window. Kyle's aim drifted toward one of the men, and he slowly squeezed the trigger on his Springfield Saint. The shot rang off and another successful headshot was executed. The man fell to the ground, and blood began to pool around his head. The other members of the small militia took cover, and their eyes were now focused across the street from Kyle's home. His plan actually worked. Kyle felt a little bad, and hoped an innocent family was not inside the home the body dropped in front of, because they would surely become the militia's new targets. If there was a family still at the residence— they probably would not survive an attack from the militia. Hopefully, they made it out during the evacuation warnings a few days prior. Shots began to ring off, and Kyle backed out the window. Shots began to ring off, and Kyle backed out the window. Jackie ducked down and stayed away from the exposed area of the room. Kyle waited a few seconds, then peeked out and noticed the gunshot holes that decorated the house across the street. The woman with the broken Ray-Bans was nowhere in sight, but the other members of the militia began making their way to the home. Kyle lifted his rifle again and let off two more shots, dropping two more members. Get back! Get back! One of the men yelled. Each of the miscreants began making their way back to the trucks. Kyle only had seven shots left and had to make them count. He took up aim at one of the F-150s and let off a shot meant for the occupant in the driver's seat. The rear windshield shattered, but no one exited the truck. Fuck! Kyle yelled, disappointed at the fact that he didn't know if his shot attempt was successful. If he had his ammo from the basement, each truck would look like a slice of Swiss cheese. About five minutes went by and there was no movement from the militia. What's going on out there? Jackie asked, noticing how quiet the outside became. I have no idea. A stern look was on Kyle's face as he watched diligently for any type of movement. Finally, one of the men exited the passenger seat of the U-Haul truck and climbed on top. Kyle had the opportunity to attempt to shot at the mail, but was too focused on what he was doing on top of the truck. He crawled to the rear of the truck and grabbed a rope that was affixed to the roof. The rope was also attached to the door latch. The woman suddenly appeared from the F-150, but she was not wearing her sunglasses. She had a red, green, and black bandana tied around her face that covered her nose and mouth. She toted a pistol-grip shotgun and blasted the front door of the home four times. The door was literally ripped off the hinges. After blasting the door, she threw a gas canister into the home. The canister contained the chemical gas that stole the lives of millions of citizens, including Chloe. The same gas was finally dispersing from the lower level of the couple's home, but he still ensured it did not make its way into the bedroom. Kyle recognized the canister as being similar to the one the initial miscreants tossed in his home. Once the woman re-entered the F-150, the man on top of the U-Haul pulled the rope, which opened the rear door. Kyle looked out to see what was inside the truck. He figured they had more personnel to carry out their heinous assaults on the innocent. However, what he witnessed was much worse as his mouth dropped to the floor. Some type of creature crawled out of the rear of the U-Haul truck and was nothing like any animal he had ever seen. 